Hey there, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, Spark unit testing using Scala test and JUnit. I've created this class called Empty Data Frame, and within uh, the class, I have an empty DF function which is returning an empty data frame. This is the package name for that class, and under the test directory, I have the same package name. So within this package, I'm going to create a, a new class. So I will first of all start with a Scala test. I'm going to name the class empty data frame. You can see the name is the same, but we add a spec here because I'm going to use any flat spec uh, test type. So uh, let me show the XML. So I'm using this uh, uh, dependency which you can get from Maven repository. Let me go back. So here I will extend any any flat spec. So what I need to do first is get this uh, function, the data frame that is returning the data frame. So first of all, what I will do is instantiate this class uh, within this uh, test class. So I'll say for ftdf FT equal to new empty data frame. So the next thing is basically to uh, get the empty data frame df equal to ltdf dot mtdf so that's the data frame so my first test will be uh, comparing the columns of the data frame and check if it match so here we have column name as uh, name age and gender so I want to check if this column is matching so uh, I would say it should it should match name age gender columns in so uh, I would say by expected the expected column is going to be list it would be list of uh, Columns that is a uh, name, age, and gender. So the actual will be well, actual equal to so df dot columns dot to list. So now I will use assert assert expected equal actual if this is correct the test should pass as you can see the test pass uh, test passed one of one test so let's go ahead and create the second test so the second test will be about checking if the data frame is empty or not so it should return empty data frame so the logic here will be so let's define expected expected equal to list so I'll say list dot empty is empty so this one right it's going to return boolean in this case the list is empty so it's going to be true for actual, I'll say um, data frame, which is the empty data frame here, dot is empty. So if that data frame is empty, this one will also return true. So let me use assert, assert expected equal to equal actual. Then let's run this. As you can see here, this test has passed. So both tests passed. Let's say, for example, we want to fail the first one. 
So we want to say, uh, instead of having name there, we want to say uh, NA or NAM. In this case, it's going to fail because uh, this is not going to match the actual uh, columns. So let's run this. As you can see, it failed, and so it should match name, age, gender failed. So let's play this and check. Uh, you can see here NAM age gender did not equal to list uh, name age gender that is because the spelling is wrong so I put it there and run it again uh, you can see the test has passed again so now this is for scalar test let's go ahead and implement same logic for J unit so to uh, to J unit test, we have to create a new class here. Uh, we call it uh, MT data data frame. Uh, MT data frame, and we append it with test. So here, um, let's. Uh, perform the same logic so we copy this and uh, so the next thing is first of all let's import JUnit test import org of the JUnit dot test so uh, before the test definition we need to uh, add annotation test annotation so let's say the first test, test name will be column uh, match. Let's call it column match. So it's going to have the same logic as this. I'll paste it here. So let's run this. You can see the column match, uh, column match, uh, it should be column match. So the, uh, the test has passed and we can go ahead and implement the second test logic. Let's call this one is, uh, is DF empty because we want to check if the data frame is empty so we go here and copy this logic here so let's test this again so you can see it's empty it's DF empty uh, test has passed as well so let's try and run both tests together so run all the tests Alright, you can see both tests passed column match and is DF empty. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment. Have a lovely day and goodbye.